So we're here today at the Alcott House in historic Concord, Massachusetts. And of course, this is the house where Louisa May Alcott lived during almost all of her life. There's a new book out called Marme and Louisa, which in many ways is changing the way people have thought about Louisa May Alcott and the life that she led. But I want to mention one other thing that has a connection with Hudson. Not just the book by Louisa May Alcott, which many people have read, that is, Little Women, but also Bronson Alcott, the father of Louisa May, a kind of philosopher and, not, and a ne'er-do-well kind of man. He was a great fan of abolitionist leader John Brown. And do you know that when John Brown gave his speech here in Concord, Massachusetts, in front of the town hall in the summer of 1859, one of the people who was in the audience at that time and uh, watching John Brown was none other than Bronson Alcott, the father of Louisa May. And Bronson went home and wrote in his diary about what a wonderful guy John Brown was, what a, that he was to him the exemplar of moral leadership. And so he wrote that in his diary, July 1859. Of course, it would not be long before John Brown would be at Harper's Ferry and December 1859 he was hanged near Charlestown, Virginia. But here in this house behind us, Louisa May Alcott, who knew John Brown through her father, wrote those books that then put her on the literary map of America. Louisa May Alcott, her home here in Concord, Massachusetts, Orchard House. This is Tom Vince for Hudson Cable Television.